Okay, folks, so we're gonna do some example problems on determining atomic number, mass number, protons, neutrons, electrons, and then writing our two types of notation. Um, you're gonna need a periodic table for this. You should have a link to open one in a second tab. So we are gonna use that. So let's start with the first one here. Um, we've got sodium. So let's start by finding sodium on our periodic table. Sodium's a trickster because its symbol is nothing to do with its name, literal nothing. Sodium is Na, okay? So looking at my periodic table, symbol for sodium is Na, atomic number is 11. So let's put that in our chart. Atomic number is 11. Now remember the mass number is not on the periodic table. How do we get the mass number? We add our protons and our neutrons. Well, we don't know our protons, except that we do. In our notes that we did, we said that the number of protons is gonna be equal to the number of electrons, which is equal to the atomic number. So all three of those numbers should be the same. So my protons should be 11 because my atomic number was 11 and my electrons should be 11 because my atomic number was 11. So all three of those numbers should be exactly the same. So then to find the mass number, I'm gonna take my protons plus my neutrons. So that's gonna give me 25. So this is sodium with a mass of 25. So now let's write the two notations for this. For hyphen notation, we write the name of the element. So we're gonna write sodium then we write a dash or a hyphen, and then the mass number. The mass number for sodium is 25, so this is sodium 25. For the nuclear notation, we write the chemical symbol, which we looked up was Na. The mass number goes on top, so I'm gonna take that 25 and put it on the top. Atomic number goes on bottom, so I'm gonna put that 11 on the bottom. All right, well, let's check out copper. This time, they haven't told us how many neutrons we have, but they did tell us the mass number. So let's go find copper on our periodic table. Right here, we have copper. The symbol for copper is Cu, okay? Atomic number here is 29. Now I want you to notice something. Our mass number that they gave us is 62. Is that anything like the number on your periodic table? It's close, but we're pretty far from 63.546. So remember the mass number is not this number here. No, no, no. So they gave us our mass number. Remember atomic number, protons, and electrons should all be the same. So we have 29 protons and 29 electrons. So then, to figure out the number of neutrons, we are gonna take our mass number and subtract the atomic number. So I'm gonna do 62 minus 29, that's gonna give me 33 neutrons. All right, let's do our notation here. So for the hyphen notation, we take the name of the element, which in this case is copper. Then we put a hyphen, and then we need the mass number, which they've told us is 62. All right. For the nuclear notation, we need the symbol. We just looked it up. It's C-U. Remember to watch those capitals. First letter is capitalized. Second letter is not. Then we're going to put the mass number on top, so that's 62 on top. And then on the bottom, we put the atomic number, which was 29. On this last one, uh-oh, they didn't tell me what element it was. Can I figure it out? Yes, I can, because they did tell me the number of protons. And I know that the number of protons should be equal to atomic number and electrons. So if there's 35 protons, there's 
an atomic number of 35, and there's also 35 electrons. So let's go figure out what element this is. What element has an atomic number of 35? 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, that would be bromine. So our element here is bromine, symbol BR. So let's fill in our element, this is bromine. So the last thing we need is our mass number, which remember is protons plus neutrons. So I'm gonna do 35 plus 44, and that gets me a mass number of 79. So now let's go and write our notations down here. For the hyphen notation, we're gonna write the name of the element, bromine, a hyphen, and then we need the mass number from up here, which was 79. For the nuclear notation, we're going to write the symbol. Bromine is capital B, lowercase r. Mass number goes on top, so we're going to put that 79 on top. And then on bottom, we need the atomic number, so we're going to put 35. All right, so those are some examples for how to do finding protons, neutrons, electrons, mass number, atomic number, all that jazz, and for how to write those notations.